All right, today is a no prop class. Whoa, when's the last time we did a no prop class? <laughs> Been a while. So you guys that are doing this workout with me at home, if you have props that will help you, by all means, use those props. I'm just not gonna cue them. So we're gonna start with our knees, one hip width apart, hands behind the thighs, sitting nice and tall. We're taking a nice big inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, we're gonna to start to melt our spines down onto our mat, taking your time, melting the shoulders, and bending the knees, heels underneath your knees, and arms close to your side, reaching long. I want you to slide your right leg out and add that right arm, reach it long behind you, and then pull back in. And then the other side, reach it long. Now keep the rib cage heavy and bring it back in. We'll inhale as we lengthen, exhale, scoop. Slide that heel long, scoop that belly in strong. One more each side, reach long and pull it in strong. And last one, we inhale and we exhale. Let's try both legs, both arms. We're gonna reach long, scoop and resist coming in. I want you to feel those hamstrings contracting with the abdominals. The feet are staying light on the mat, but the rib cage is staying heavy. And one more, we'll inhale, keep the legs long, exhale, circle the arms around and draw that chin to your chest. Head down, arms back, behind you, stretch, inhale, circle, nod that chin to your chest, exhale, reach towards those toes. And again, lengthen, inhale, circle, chin to chest, exhale, and one more, reach it long, inhale, exhale, hold it right here, palms to the floor, take one knee to a tabletop, add the other, curl up a little deeper, get those shoulder blades off the mat, and start to pop the hundred, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, breathe in the nose, and out the lips, fire those muscles in the back of that body, and these are vigorous palms, six to eight inches above the hips. More challenging, zip those legs straight up into a Pilates V. Don't forget the breathing. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the lips. If you'd like to start to lower those legs further, feel free to do so, but make sure the lower back is on that mat and there's no strain. And we're inhaling, and we're exhaling. We've got one more, inhale, exhale, hug those knees in, release that head, take the arms out like a T, we'll go back to that tabletop position. Keeping the shoulders heavy, float your knees to one side, keeping the shoulders heavy, and then exhale, come back up. And then we inhale, float to the other side, use your abdominals, exhale, come back up. And we inhale, shoulders heavy. Exhale up. Inhale again. Now I'm gonna add on to this. You don't have to. You can stay just how we are. I'm gonna inhale to one side. Scoop that belly deeper. Lengthen those legs out. And then bring them up to 90. And then tabletop the legs again. And let's float our knees the other side. Hold, scoop that belly in deeper, stretch those legs long, press those inner thighs to your center, bring it back up and bend the knees to a tabletop. I inhale, twist. Exhale, lengthen and bring it up. Tabletop. And inhale. To exhale. Remember the belly scoops deeper, bring it back up. And then lower the legs all the way to your mat. Bring those arms back up to the ceiling. Lift those shoulders up off the mat. Keep the fingers reaching long, but slide the shoulders down. And again, lift those shoulders up. Let them slide down while you keep the arms just as long. Inhale up. Exhale down. And one more. Inhale and exhale, soften your knees, 
legs together. Nod the chin to your chest, find that lower back again, and then bring the head back down, keep the arms straight up over the shoulders. Nod that chin to your chest, and then inhale here, a little higher, and exhale down. Chin to chest again, inhale, come a little higher, and then exhale down. And again, no dragging of that head. Now I'm going to keep coming up. Oh, these are tough. I'm going to straighten my legs at the very top and reach forward. Keeping yourself rounded. Start to bring yourself back. Melt those shoulders. Tuck your tail. And again, I'm going to soften those knees as I come all the way down. Let's try that same move again. Nod the chin to your chest. Inhale. Find that lower back. Press through. I'm going to start to straighten my legs. Maybe. Oh, those roll-ups will never get easier, will they? And then bring it back. Eight, seven, six, five. Soften those knees. Three, two, and one. Nod that shin to your chest. Find that lower back. Inhale. Two, exhale. Look into that navel. Reach it long. Now from here, scoop that belly in. I'm going to stack nice and tall for four. And three. And two. And one. Take the arm closest to your screen. Slide the elbow along a shelf. Twist and rotate. Sit taller. It's like a bow and arrow. And then bring it back to center. Other arm. Slide that arm across that imaginary shelf. And then bring it back out. I'm going to inhale. To exhale. Move nice and slow. Control that movement. Make sure the core is involved. And bring it back. One more inside, inhale, try to sit taller off those sit bones, exhale forward, and one more, inhale, to exhale. Round forward again like you just came up from your roll-up, stay inside this canister, and roll all the way back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, soften those knees, eyes to belly, inhale. Exhale up and over, straighten those legs. Stay rounded, come halfway back. Hold. Take the hands and clasp them, soften your elbows. So I'm in this rounded position. And I'm going to take my elbow down towards the floor and then other side. And I twist. And I twist. And I twist. And I twist. Make sure those thighs are doing that job by wrapping. Work from the seat to your feet. Supporting the core. Uh -huh. And three. And three. And two. And two. And one. And one. Reach those fingertips for those toes and roll all the way down for four. Three. Two. Stretch the arms behind you. Let the rib cage arch. Circle those arms and hug the knees into your chest. And just rock side to side, massaging the kidneys and the spine. Keeping your knees way into your chest, place the arms down at your side. Right now, the lower back, there's no space between your back and the mat. Keep that, but tap those toes carefully and slowly toward the mat and come back in. So I want to make sure that our pelvis is not moving or rocking. So you really need to scoop deeper in and up those abdominals, keep the hips in a straight line, and make sure that we still have that connection into the back. If it's not there, don't take the toes as far down onto that mat. I'm inhaling as I tap, I'm exhaling as I come back in. And inhale. Now if you want to add a little bit more flexion to the back, I'm going to lift my tail up. But make sure those shoulders are staying relaxed. I inhale as I tap down. I exhale. I'm gently pressing the back of my head into the mat. I'm doing the best I can to make sure my shoulders aren't rounding forward as I lift. And one more. I exhale. And down. Lengthen those legs nice and long. Feel that femur stretching away from that hip. Take your right knee in. 
pull in towards that chest while the opposite leg reaches long. Grab onto that ankle and zip that leg straight up. Now, right now, you are more than welcome to take this opposite leg and bend it if that feels better to your back. Take your arms to your side and turn that kneecap away from you. If you can't get this leg over the hip, soften at the knee and make sure from the knee to the hip is in a straight line, okay? So we're gonna put that bowling ball on that torso and we're gonna circle towards our center line and lift up. We inhale to exhale. Feel that belly stirring the wet cement as that leg circles around and pauses at the top. Let's reverse. We inhale to exhale. That opposite hip is not shifting off that mat. Round to come up two more. Inhale to exhale. And last one, grab behind that leg, get that hamstring in there, stretch. Soften that knee, tug that knee in towards the chest. Reach the opposite leg longer. And then take these toes onto your mat. And I want you to slide that leg all the way out. Bend the opposite leg, pull it in towards your chest. Keep both hips pressing in a straight line. Grab onto the back of that calf or ankle and zip that leg up. Woo! Some mornings we feel more tight than others, yes? Now you're more than welcome to soften the other leg. Arms to your side, turn that kneecap away from you and we circle towards our center line and zip up. Inhale to exhale, round to come up. Two more, inhale to exhale, last one. And now reverse, we go away, zip up, one. You should never go wider than your mat in this movement, right? You're just gonna end up taking that hip with you. And then grab behind the calf or the ankle, Bend that knee, pull it in towards you, stretch the opposite leg nice and long. Take those toes to your mat and then slide those le that leg. Both legs are now straight out. I'm lengthening the femur again, once again, out of those hips. Yes. Bring those arms straight up. We're gonna nod the chin to our chest and we're gonna bring ourselves all the way up. Hands go right beside you, bend your knees and scoot your boot a little bit more forward. Separate the legs by one fist width, hands behind your thighs, shoulders melted. We're gonna to start to roll it back. My hands will slide down my legs a little bit. I want that lower back to touch the mat. And then bring yourself up and over a beach ball. And again, keep the gaze to your navel, melt those shoulders, tuck that tail, and then bring it back up. Roll it back, tucking those sit bones towards your heels and then coming back up. Now take the feet closer towards your seat into a Pilates stance and take those arms and wrap them around the outer thighs. Put yourself into a little ball here. So I'm gonna lift up my heels, slide a little closer to my tush and I'm gonna balance on my sit bones. So try to have the chest close to the thighs. Try to keep the heels close to your seat. For some people, this is where we should just stay for this exercise. Rolling like a ball is not for everybody. We never roll onto our necks. So I want you to feel like someone just tipped you over. So we gently come back, feel like the butt goes up, then the butt goes down and we pause. Try that again, slower is better. Inhale to exhale. We don't want to thud on our tailbone, so if that is you, do not continue rocking. One more, inhale back and exhale up. Place your feet back on the mat again and slide through those arms, okay? Once you take your right knee and pull it in, hands on the shin, not behind the thigh. We're gonna slowly start to come back. I'm going to stop at the base of my shoulder blade. If you wanna have your head down, you'll go all the way down. At the same time, I'm tipping that opposite leg right out in front of me. So my outside hand is gonna slide down to the ankle and my inside hand stays on the knee. I'll switch and hold for a second. My outside hand goes to the ankle, my opposite hand goes to the knee and I'm 
pulling it towards me. I switch and hold, switch and hold. If you'd rather have your leg go straight up, if that feels better to your back, feel free to do so. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna start to pick it up, I'm gonna add my breath. And I inhale to exhale. And inhale, reach long as you pull it in strong. Always opposition in Pilates. And breathe. And inhale, good. And exhale, one more time. Make sure there's no strain to that neck. And then bring both knees in and I'll give you a little break here. Nod that head no if you're feeling strained to your neck. And remember, you never have to lift your head ever. I'm gonna cue it. Eyes to belly, shoulders off that mat. We're gonna do double leg stretch. Everything reaches away from your center line. We hold two, three, circle the arms, then bring the knees in. And again, inhale, two, three, exhale. The further I go away from my center, the more I have to wrap my thighs and engage my glutes. And of course, the core is always there. And I inhale, 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 reach those arms long to the ankles. And hold, two, three, Feel that bowling ball getting heavier on that torso. Two, three, circle hug. And one more, I reach, I reach, I reach. And I can take my head down that mat again. And I can shake it no if I feel strained in my neck. I'm gonna take my left toes down to the mat. I'm gonna straighten my right leg up. And hands will be in the same spot so I don't have one down and one up. I'm gonna nod my chin to my chest. Five hairs lift my head up. Now the bent leg is just going to kick straight out. I'm gonna pull this leg towards me for two counts. One, two, switch, one, two. And inhale, whoosh, exhale. Inhale, bam, exhale. Eyes to belly, if your head is lifted. Shoulders down, neck is strain free. Inhale, switch, exhale, boom. Inhale, good. Try to straighten those legs a little more. Pull, 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 and release. We're working hard. Make sure you're listening. The neck, the back, the hips. All right, so we're gonna take these legs all the way up into a Pilates stance. Back issues, put your hands under your seat. If not, hands go behind the head. Elbows are wide, legs are long. Inhale, nothing. Exhale, all the air out of the center and nod that shin to your chest for double straight leg, lower lift. We're gonna lower for three counts and then zip it up. One, two, three. How low should those legs go? The lower back should never leave the mat. The rib cage stays heavy, the thighs are wrapping, and so are the seat sit bones. One, two, Three, one, two, three, two more, lower, 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 lift, one more, lower, 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 lift, and release, not that head now. Keeping the knees in towards the chest, take hand over hand behind the head, elbows are wide. Once again, inhale on the mat, nothing, exhale, air out of center, nod the chin to your chest, Shoulder blades are off the mat. Twist towards your screen and press that opposite leg away. Now switch. Keep those elbows open wide. Switch. Inhale, exhale. Bring that water out of that rib cage. Now pick it up. One, and then one. Three. And three. Here's four. And four. Four more. Here's four. You can do this. Three. Keep those elbows wide. Keep those shoulder blades off the mat. I don't think mine are, but I'm trying. And release. I'm going to keep my hands behind my head. My feet are on the mat and just sway your knees to one side. They both go the same direction. Keep your shoulders heavy. Get the elbows heavy. Use your abdominals, bring it back in. 
and sway your knees to the opposite side. Keep the shoulders heavy. Draw it back in. Take those legs to a tabletop and the arms now will go to your side. Shins are parallel to the floor, knees are over the hips. Good, I want you to do toe taps. Right toes, left toes. Again, we're challenging the core and the pelvis being stable. So nothing else is moving. Again, we have no space between our back and the mat because my rib cage is heavy. I'm not tucking my pelvis towards me to get my back heavy. That's wrong. I'm in neutral pelvis, my rib cage is heavy. Now I'm going to pick it up, one goes down, other goes up. More work for the belly. And I go just four more, and three, two more here, and two, and one, two feet down. And I'm going to let my knees fall out to the side and just release my hip flexors. And just hang tight there for a second. Don't have strain in the shoulders. Nothing is working right here. We're just releasing. Bring those legs back to parallel, hands behind the thighs, and rock yourself up and take those legs as wide as your mat for spine stretch. So my feet are like imaginary against a wall, okay, or against a pole, or think of pressing an elevator button with your heels. Sit nice and tall. If you're not able to sit tall, before you bend your knees, you can feel like you can maybe roll up your mat, right? But you can also bend the knees. That's also always an option, but you need to sit tall. Connect the shoulders to your back. The back of the head should be in line with the rest of your spine. Inhale, grow that spine taller. Exhale, peel off that wall, but only to the center of my back I peel off. From my mid-back all the way down, stays against that wall. I pull my belly in, I squeeze my seat, and I stack back up. Exhale, nod the chin to your chest, eyes to belly. Reach and scoop, keep those legs straight. Pull that navel in, inhale up. Exhale forward. Shh. Inhale up. On the exhale, bring those arms up. My spine went with it. And take those hands behind your head. I'm going to gently press back of my head into those fingertips. I want you to twist towards me. Twist towards me. Now take this back elbow towards that front knee and reach the arm long. Then try to get that elbow to reach higher towards the ceiling. And then come back with the hand behind that head, lift up and come center. Twist away from me, keep those feet flexed. Now don't take the hips with you, it's from this movement here. Now take the hand behind, and reach it across the opposite foot. I'm gonna look back behind me. I'm gonna try and get that elbow a little bit higher. Bring that hand back behind the head, stack your spine and come center. Twist towards me. Take that elbow towards that front leg, like a saw. Reach that arm forward and try to open up higher that elbow. Hand goes back behind the head, stack your spine, come back to center. Make sure the ribs are in and not flaring out. Rotate away from me, inhale. Reach for that outside baby toe. Reach that elbow a little higher. Bring that hand back behind the head, stack. Come to center and release those arms. Bend those knees. Hands go behind the thighs. And we're gonna take it all the way down to our mat. If you need that release to your back, hug those knees into your chest. If you feel you need release to your neck, nod the head, no, side to side. Take the hands underneath your seat to protect that lower back. Zip those legs straight up to 90, turn those toes out. We're gonna do corkscrew. Take your legs towards your screen, they're gonna stay together, lower them around, go away from the screen and hold center. Away from your screen this time, Circle towards the screen, back to center. Here's your breath. Inhale to exhale and reverse. Inhale, squeeze those heels together, squeeze those thighs. Relax those shoulders. Inhale to exhale and inhale. 
inhale, big as small as you want. You pick. Circle. Use your core. Bring it up. And one more. Try to have those heels dancing around. Keep them together. Now hug those knees in. Release that back. Rock yourself up. Uh, and keep reaching forward. Grab onto those ankles and pull your torso closer to your thighs. Press the back of those knees down. Good. And then stack that spine right back up. I'm going to flip over onto our stomachs. All right. So I like to start on my forearms. Give my back a little stretch. Shoulders should be melted. This is your positioning like in swan, how your hips are pressing down and you're pressing through the arms. Let's bring it all the way down and take the hands under your shoulders. My legs are sits bone width apart. If you have a lower back issue, take them further apart. So I've got that imaginary marble under my nose. All I want to do is give it a little bit of a push. So now the crown of my head is reaching long and my neck is in line with my spine. Pressing through my hands, my hips are pressing down, my shoulders are melting, and I'm starting to lift up my chest. My head's along for the ride, and I bring it back down, pulling my abdominals away from my mat. Roll that marble, just a small little roll. I inhale, shoulders go down, glutes are firing. Exhale, pull that navel away from your mat. And again, lift up on an inhale, exhale, lower. Now we're going to add a neck roll. So I'm going to roll that marble, lift up my head and chest. Let go of the breath, look towards your screen or to one shoulder. Circle down to the other shoulder, back to center. Now reverse it, look away from your screen. Circle around towards your screen, back to center, and release. Now this time on this one, you don't have to, we're going to come up till our arms are lengthened. So I roll that marble again, I press through the heel of my hands, and I'm going to lengthen all the way up, and then retrace my steps, come all the way down. And again, roll that marble, squeeze your seat, lengthen, shoulders are down, and we come back down, and we stretch back into a child's pose, scooping the belly and rounding the back. Nice long stretch. Come into a forearm plank. So I'm going to have my shoulders over my elbows. Modified plank, I'd still be on my knees, but my hips are tucking, they're not here. Full plank, knees off the mat. I'm still in my Pilates stance. I'm pushing off my mat. I'm flattening my shoulder blades by pressing my back up against the ceiling. I am using my seat to feet connection to support my abdominals, and the crown of my head is reaching long. I'm going to take one knee toward the mat, bring it up. The other knee, and if you're already on your knees, you're holding the plank. Knee, and other knee. Inhale, two, exhale. Don't rush, don't rush. Now try both knees. Three, two, and one. Lower your thighs to your hips, flatten the feet, knuckles come together. Your shoulders should already be over your elbows. Your shoulders are pressing towards your heels. Your hips are on the mat. Your belly button is off. Keeping the legs reaching long. Take your right foot, kick your seat two times. One, two, switch. One, two. Now try not to lift up when you're kicking. You want to try to keep everything else the way it was starting. Kick, kick, lengthen. Kick, kick, lengthen. Boom, boom, one more. And we're gonna come all the way onto our stomachs and lay on the ear that you can see me. Legs together, hands come behind you. I slide them up as high as I can and let my shoulders and elbows fall to the mat. Pull that navel again away from your mat. Legs glued together, three little kicks. One, two, three. As I straighten my legs, my arms straighten. My head and chest come off the mat. I'm looking down at my mat. I'm trying to lift up higher, firing those glutes. 
Now retrace your steps, look at the opposite direction, and I kick three times. One, two, three, reach and stretch. Feet on the mat. Retrace, slide those hands back up, and let's kick. One, two, three, and switch. One, two, three, hold this one here. Try to get those arms a little higher. Try to get that chest a little higher, and then bring it back down, and gently stretch back into child's pose again. Now I'm gonna stay here and exaggerate my breathing. So I'm gonna take a nice big inhale. The rib cage expands and exhale. It funnels back in and down through the hips. And one more time, inhale and exhale. Press out into a tabletop position on your hands and knees. The shoulders should be over the wrists and the hips are over the knees. I'm gonna have my toes curled under so I can see my toenails. So I have my back nice and level. I'm squeezing into my armpits. I don't want this work to come from my arms. I want it to come from here, from your core. So I'm gonna round that spine, press my core in, and I'm gonna lift those knees parallel to the floor. If that's not cool for you, you keep your knees down. The right knee is gonna lift up and then parallel. And three, try to keep that opposite leg still. Two, and one. Now the other leg, I lift. Four, don't lose that shape in either leg. Three, good. Two, and one. I got two feet down. Step back, long legs into a full plank. Hold that. Now take that right foot in, left foot in. Take it back out, right foot out, left foot out. Bring the right foot back in, the left foot back in. Pause. My knees are over my hips, or hips are over my knees. Now left leg goes long, then the right, then come back in. You can be stretching back into a child's pose at any time during this. Two more. Know if this is for you or if it's not for you. And one more. Good. And then we lower down and stretch back. I'm gonna release my wrists after that one. I'm gonna make cups with my fingertips towards my wrist. Head is heavy. Just feel a nice release in those wrists. I'm gonna flip back over onto our backs for shoulder bridge. All right. So I lay all the way down. My legs are hands width apart. Arms are reaching long. Feet are flat. So make sure when you're going up into your bridge, you're not rolling onto outside or inside the foot. You want to make sure that tripod of your foot is pressing into your mat. There's a glass of water right here on your pelvis. You're going to dump it on your belly button. Your tail is going to lift first. The glutes are lifting. And I'm slowly going to peel myself up off the mat. There should be no pressure to my neck. My shoulders press down. Everything in the front of my body is opening. In the back of my body, it's strengthening. We're going to slowly bring it back down, bone by bone articulating that spine, and how about reach those fingertips a little bit closer towards those heels. We'll tuck that tail. We're going to exhale up. Inhale down. I exhale up. So scoop that belly in and up. Shoulders press down, knees press forward. Inhale as we lower. Exhale all the way up. We're going to hold this one here. Now you're more than welcome to get out of this bridge anytime you need to. I'm going to do little marches. My hips and pelvis are going to stay still. I'm going to lift my right leg, put it down, and my left leg, put it down. Move with control. Don't move real fast. Make sure that core is engaged like crazy. And how about those glutes to help hold us up? And down. I'm going to add on. I tabletop one leg. I zip it up. I lower my seat. I bring it up. I table, put it down. Other leg. Table, up, lower your seat, 
Lift it up, table, and down. Here I go. Inhale down, exhale up, retrace, come back down. Inhale, table, exhale up. Drop down, inhale, lift up, exhale, table, good. Right leg. Now hold this straight up, lower the seat, and bring it up. Lower the seat, press up. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna do four more, but take that straight leg, bend that knee, cross that ankle over that quad, and now do four more, and lift. Three, two, and one. Put that foot down, fix that bridge, tabletop the other leg, zip it up, keep it straight. I lower down, I press the back of my body to lift up. Inhale down, exhale up, two more. One more, cross that ankle over the quad, let that knee fall out to the side, four more bridges. And lift, and three, and two, and one. Hold it up there, place that foot down the mat, fix that bridge, and now that's lower. Take your time, articulating this one. Feel the release of those shoulders, reach those arms longer, hug those knees in the chest. That was fabulous. Sit up, straight legs, flex feet, Back of the knees pushing down. Take the arms out like a T for spine twist. So you want to be out parallel to the floor. Feel like I'm trying to push your arms down and you're keeping them lifted. So fire these muscles right here at the base of that armpit. We're going to inhale up taller. Exhale towards me. One further. Two. Inhale center. Exhale away. One. Two. Your neck needs to stay with your spine. It doesn't keep going. Inhale, exhale. Big breath in, big breath out and out. Inhale. One more each side. Rotate, rotate an inch further. Keep those rib cages soft. Round forward and slide those hands towards your ankles. Use those hands to pull your torso closer to the thighs. Relax those shoulders, shake them out. Good. Bring it back up and come onto your side, mirroring me. So we're gonna take it all the way to the back of our mat so we can have our body in a straight line. We use that mat as a ruler. You can prop your head up with that hand or you can lay all the way down but your head must be resting on something. You can't be hovering it like this. So if you need to, you grab a towel. My free hand is on the mat. My elbow is to the rib cage to stop me from rocking. And I slide my legs to the front of the mat. Very important alignment here. Make sure the hips are stacked and the shoulders are stacked. The legs are reaching long. I push down my bottom leg as I prime my top leg up hip height and my foot is flexed. I'm gonna swing forward and then give a push. Point the toes, come back, give a push. I exhale forward, I inhale back. So make note of what that top hip is doing and rib cage. When the leg goes forward, we don't wanna lean back, and the opposite, we don't wanna come forward like that. And we go forward, push, back, Push, this bottom leg is gonna help you if it's staying heavy on that mat. And then stack those legs and take your top kneecap to the ceiling. Lies a feather, let it come up. And now reach and get that heel on top of the other heel. I'm lengthening that thigh. Inhale up, exhale. Scoop that belly in and up deeper as the leg goes down. Inhale to exhale. Lies a feather. Now slide a penny along that wall with your big toe. And one more, lift up. And now we're gonna go into So The kneecap is still facing the ceiling. Do not lean back. Trace your inseam. Don't move your quad, but zip that leg up and now lengthen, reach it long. 
That belly's gonna pull that leg in. The glute and the back of the thigh are gonna work coming down as well. Let's bring it in, zip it up. Lengthen long, now let's reverse it. Let's come up, find that inseam. Now get that heel all the way on top of the other heel. Lift up, bend, exhale. Inhale, up, bend, exhale. Flex both feet and lift the top leg, hip level height. We're gonna circle forward and we're gonna stay over that bottom foot, brushing sand off that foot. Four, use your glutes, use the thigh, use your core. Now let's reverse it. Think of going longer with each one. And this rib cage is staying nice and light. I go for four and three and two and one. Now I'm gonna point my toes, then I'm gonna tap the front mat five times. Five, four, three, two, one, towards the back. Five, four, three, two, one. Now four, four, three, two, one, boom. Four, three, two, one. That belly's gonna work on these little taps. Three, two, one. Two, one, two, one, one and one. Lift both legs up and hold. Yes, now take your bottom foot forward, your top foot back. So here they are in a scissor. And now we're gonna keep switching six times. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stack them, place them down. Take your top knee, bend it towards the ceiling, and place your foot on the mat. Grab onto that ankle and turn that heel slightly higher than your toes. And we're gonna lift up, up higher, up higher, come down. Now, if this positioning is not working for that hip, if you have a pillow or a play ball, let this leg fall onto it while you're lifting. If that's not an option, take the leg behind you. Up, up, up. Here's my original spot. Up, up, up. What am I lifting from? Of course, the core, but this is inner thigh. Now hold this one up as high as you can get it. Now big circle forward, round and come up. I'm using all this space between the knee and the mat. One more, it's round to come up. Now reverse, so it's inner thigh, belly. Round to come up, inhale to exhale. Last one, hold that right there. Stack the other leg in Pilates stance and give me heel beats. Make sure you got your hips stacked. Nine, eight, this is nice and light. Six, five, four, three, two. Keep your legs lifted. Come onto your stomach for belly beats. My legs are still lifted. I'm rolling over like a rotisserie chicken. Pull that navel away from that mat. My legs are lifted, they're straight. My glutes are firing like crazy. And it's two heel beats. And we do 30 of these. So we got plenty of time to make sure we feel the belly and the butt working. Relax the shoulders and neck. You got 20 more. These are great, love these. Make sure that belly button's pulling away from your mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Stretch back into child's pose. Now I normally would just flip and face the other direction, but then you wouldn't be able to see me. So we're just going to disturb the flow and just get to the other side. Okay, so you're still facing me. That was the purpose of all of that. Lengthen yourself along the back of your mat, prop your head or lie on that arm. Once we're in a straight line, take the feet to the front edge of your mat. Hips are stacked. Bottom rib cage is working, it's lifted, and your neck is supported by the hand. Press the bottom leg down as I lift my top leg up. Flex foot swings forward, give a push, point back, back, give a push. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Shh, shh. Try to make note of where that leg is. It wants to be parallel to the floor, it shouldn't be swinging up, and it shouldn't be dipping down here. It's hip height. So kind of look out of the corner of that eye because you don't want to do this. Your neck is out of alignment. You got to try to see somehow what that leg is doing. 
If you have to, look once, look once. And here we go. Forward, forward, back, back, stack your leg. Take that top knee, cap the ceiling. Legs a feather. Now resist. I'm trying to push that leg down. You're fighting how much speed is coming down. You're fighting it. You're fighting it. You're fighting it. Reach that heel. Legs a feather. Inhale, exhale. Three, two, one. Press that bottom leg down. Now scoop in and up. One more. My kneecap is still facing the ceiling for passe. Trace your inseam. Keep the quad still, zip up the leg, and now stretch it long to the other heel. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, zip it up, exhale. Now reverse. Come up, find that inseam, get that heel all the way out. Lift up, bend, find it. One more, up, bend. Flex that top foot just like your bottom foot. Lift to the hip height. Circle over that foot, moving forward. Two, belly's working like crazy. My leg is lengthening with each circle. And now reverse. Push sand off that foot. Six, five, four, three. Moving into hot potato, tap your toes five times front. One, two, three, four, five, back. Four front, four, three, two, one. That belly is working on every single move. For three, one, two, three, one, two. For two, one, two, one, two, one and one. Lift those heels up, Pilates V. Now take your bottom foot forward, your top foot back. You're in a straight line. We scissor for six. One, two, three, Four, five, six, stack those heels, Pilates V, heel beats. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. We're not doing belly beats again. We're gonna bend those knees in and we're gonna lift ourselves up. Good. Swing those legs around. You know what's coming next. I know what's coming next. It's your favorite. It's everyone's favorite who does Pilates. Like, oh, the teaser. Remember, there's steps that we take in order to get to a full teaser. So we start with teaser prep every class. If that's not for you, you don't come all the way down, okay? You can't have your feet this close, it's not gonna work. Slide them further out. My thighs are in a diagonal, my arms match that diagonal. Shoulders are connected, and then melt down on an exhale, four, Three, two, and one. Now remember, to come up, we have to have everything pulling into our central line. Nod the chin to your chest, find that lower back, and lift up on an inhale. Here's where I stop. Exhale, melt. Four, three, two, and one. Chin to chest, eyes to belly, find that lower back, lift up, up, up. Up, take it down, breathe. Now that was teaser prep, but that's okay, that was doable. I'm ready to move on, legs together. Then I'm gonna kick my right leg straight, but I still have thigh to thigh, knee to knee, and I'm in a Pilates B with my right leg. Keeping that shape in that leg, keeping it squeezed into my central line. Eyes to belly, find that lower back. Now inhale up, reaching for those toes. Exhale, your knees should still be touching. Nothing has changed. And again, nod that chin to your chest. Find that lower back. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. We're going to do just one more. Here we go. Chin to chest. Inhale, up. Good. Exhale, down. Put that foot back down. The other leg will lift thigh to thigh, knee to knee. Turn that knee away. You're in a Pilates V with just one foot. Eyes to belly, find that lower back. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, good. Squeeze those thighs together. And Peel, the slower the better, the more you get stronger. Bring it down. 
And one more. Find it. Work it. Come down on the exhale. Hug those knees in. Woo! Now we're gonna do, for anybody who's advanced, we're only gonna do three, because at this point, we're getting pretty tired. We're gonna do three T's or ones. And that means my feet never touch the mat, okay? So if that's not for you, and a lot of people, that's not for you. You're either gonna do your T's or one again, and actually, our T's of prep, I would stay with T's of prep. I wouldn't do the single leg. We're only doing, how many did I say? Three or four, I don't remember now. <laughs> Okay, we'll say four. Ugh. All right, so you don't have to go this route. You'd have your feet down and walk a little further out. So I'm gonna zip my legs up on an inhale. On the exhale, my arms are gonna come up and my legs are gonna float like they're resting on top of a couch. Draw the chin to your chest, find that lower back. And we're gonna peel up on an inhale. Exhale, come down, don't change the legs. Inhale up, use your belly and your hip flexors, come back down. Inhale up, come on, you can do it. <laughs> Sometimes we gotta talk to ourselves, right? One more. Yep, exhale down, and then hug those knees in, woo! Nice, it's on the rock side to side for a second. All right, rock yourselves up. Good. We're going to go back into a quadruped position onto our hands and knees. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. You're doing really well today. Hang in there. And I know it's, it's sometimes more difficult when you don't use a prop. All right. So I'm going to take one leg back. Make sure my hips are square. Belly's pulling in. Armpit muscles are firing. I'm going to reach my other leg back into that Pilates stance. Good. So I'm gonna rock my heels back and forward. Back, I'm squeezing into my armpits. I'm not overloading my hands, wrists, elbows, shoulders. I'm trying to hold myself up more for my belly and my back. Good, and three, and two. Now take those heels back and then drive your right knee forward. Take your heels back. Then drive the left knee forward. Heels go back. Drive the right. Heels go back. Drive the left. Heels go back. Hold this. Press it out. Bring it back in. Heels go back. Drive the knees in. Kick it out. Bring it in. Heels go back. Drive that knee in. Press that leg out diagonal. Bring it back in, heels go back. Last one, drive that knee, press it out, knee in, heels go back, hike up your seat. Head goes heavy, drive it way back. Lift those heels, round your back, come back into your plank, bend the elbows and come all the way down. Woo! Reach those arms long. If you need that little wrist release, flip those palms up for a second. Yep, and then bring them back down. All right, legs are sits bone width apart. Your arms are reaching long in front of your shoulders. They should not be out on the corners of your mat, okay? We're gonna keep our head down for a second. And I want you just to lift the right arm, left leg, and put it down. Left arm, right leg. So try to keep those hips resting on your mat no matter what's lifting. Right arm, left leg. Come back down, left arm, right leg, come back down. One more, inhale, two X, so make sure you're firing that glute as you're lifting that leg. Now I'm gonna lift everything up, including my head and chest. Everything lifts up, my right arm goes higher, my left leg goes higher, and now I swim. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three. One more step, inhale, and stretch back. Scoop the belly and round the back, yay. Give me a nice big inhale back here, head is relaxed. And exhale, give me one more. 
Inhale. And exhale. And then come to a high kneel. And you're going to face your screen. Okay. So my hips are pressing forward. I'm going to take one leg. You're going to mirror me. Out. The back of my heel should be in line with the back of my knee. So I shouldn't be able to see your foot. Okay. Hips are pressing forward. So they're not back with the bum. Take your arms out like T. I'm going to float this arm down. And I'm going to reach it a little further out. And this hand goes behind my head. Try to have everything opening, facing your screen. Reach that top leg a little longer and lift it up and hold it here. And we're going to do little circles. Round to come up. Keep the ribs soft. Keep the glute out of thigh firing. And two. And one. Reverse. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Lower that leg. Lift it. And three. And two. And one. Bring it down. Tip it back up. And bring it in. Other side. Heel in line with the knee. Hip in line with the knee. Take the arms out like a T. Tip that teapot. I'm going to float a little further out. Hand goes behind the head. Everything should face that screen. Bring it up hip height. Circle forward. Round to come up. Round and come up, and three, and and one, reverse, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, lower the leg, and lift, lower, keep those ribs soft, three, two, and one, bring it up, bring it in, Sit back on those heels. Reach those arms in front of you. And I want you to take the arms both to one side. I'm going to go to my right, which is probably your left. So just go to one side. Don't take the hip with you. Take it back to center. Then take your hands to the opposite side. Press those hips back. Glutes are still towards the heels. Come back to center. Release those feet that are already flat. Yep. Walk those hands to your thighs. Yep. I'm going to take a nice big inhale up. And then bring the hands all the way down. Exhale. And you have made it. No prop Pilates today. Thanks for joining me. Woo.